difference. So one thing we have to remember is who we are as a people. Right. Where you, how, where, how you gonna get to where you wanna go? How you even gonna know where to go if you don't know who you are as a, as a people? Right. You know what you end up doing if you don't know who you are? You'll end up worshiping this man right here as Jesus. This man right here. Who is this? That's a painting. Who is it? That's who is it? These, those are paintings. Yes, those are paintings. But who are they supposed to be a depiction of? You know. I mean, they're supposed to be a depiction of Jesus. Are these in the Christian churches today? Huh? Yes, they are, brother. You know that. So, it's white Jesus in all these churches, on all these blocks, in all these ghettos. Y'all know that. Hold on, hold on. What's the difference between this Jesus and that Jesus? Yes, this is a lie. You can't see that? Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. This is a lie. You can't see that? Have you read the scripture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All of scripture. Have you read the scripture? Yes, yes. I know, I know the scriptures. Yes, yes, yes. So, so you know that this is a lie then. You know that. Well, people do it all over the world. It's not, it's not the point. We worship in spirit and in truth. No, no. It is the point. If it wasn't the point, then why did they change it? Why did they change the image? If, if it don't matter what color Jesus looked like, why did they change it from being a black man to a white man? If it don't matter, why did they change it? Y'all are some weak men if you believe that, bro. Come on, man. Who did he come and say? Yes, who did he come and say? Matthew chapter 1. All right, we're going to read it for you, all right? Matthew chapter 1. We're going to read it again. Listen. Just listen. We're going to read it for you at the Bible. We're going to read it for you at the Bible. Just listen. Listen. All right, read what you got. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. His question was, who did Christ come to save? Right. Read what you got. The book of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 21. To the Bible. And he shall bring forth a son. And she shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. Who are we talking about? And thou shalt call his name Jesus. We're talking about Jesus, the black Messiah. That's right. Come on. For he shall save his people. No, he shall save all people. For he all shall nations. save his people. No, he shall save all nations. Is that what the Bible all says? Nations. Come on. Is that, am, am I hearing the Why are you walking away? We're reading the Bible. We're reading the Bible. You see, our people don't want to hear the Bible today. That's right. Our people don't want to hear the Bible. We want to go over there and feel good. We want to listen to these songs, clap our hands, and dance, you understand, and go to the white man's dinner party. That's all. We just want to be accepted by the white man. That's it. The black messiah. It's my brother that ran from me earlier. We read about the black messiah. But we read about the black messiah, all right? We read about the black messiah coming to save his people from their sins. This is the brother that ran from us, all right? This is the brother that ran, all right? All right, this is what you call... Satan, he coming to try to steal the word from you. That's what this is. All right. If this brother was of the Lord, then he would prove his doctrine. He would prove his doctrine. All right. Read what you got. Acts chapter thirteen. We gonna keep teaching. All right. Read you got. Book of Acts chapter thirteen. My verse thirty-eight. Alone. Be it known unto you. Therefore, okay. Anyway, we don't need because he going into slavery. Right here. Right here. On slave ships. Right here. You understand? Right here. Vocab is going into slavery along with all the rest of the Edomites and the Malachites. That's what's going to happen. My man Vocab, you think you got clout because you know the white man? That's, all, that's, all, that's what we think today. We think we somebody because we know the white man. If surely if we had a white man's number in our phone, we going to be saved. Surely we going to be saved if we got the white man. All right, read what you got. Come on. Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that who? This man, who? This man, through Jesus the Christ, come on, right here, is preached unto you the forgiveness, forgiveness of sins. Is preached the forgiveness of sins, come on. And by him, by who? By him, all that believe are justified. Israel is not Ham. All justified. All that believe are justified. Did you hear that, brother? We're talking about who was justified. Who was justified. All right? So if I was a homosexual back then, I couldn't be justified from that. I would be put to death. I would be stoned. But now in Christ, you understand? In Christ, right? In Christ, I can repent from that. I'm not stoned anymore. I'm not going to be stoned anymore, brother. I have repentance now. I can be justified from my sins if I believe and stop being a homosexual. So you, when you read Galatians chapter 1, Galatians chapter 1 is not saying that you don't have to keep God's laws. That would be contradictory to what we read in Romans chapter 1. 
we didn't it would be contradictory to that, right? But we're followers okay. of Christ, right? Give me that in First Peter chapter one, verse twenty-one. We're followers of Christ, right? Let's go to Matthew. We are followers of Christ. So followers of Christ should be keeping God's commandments. They should be keeping God's commandments. All right. You got what I want? First Peter chapter one, verse twenty-one. All right, what you got? Come on. The, seed, the book right? of First Peter, seed, chapter two, verse twenty-one. For so even here are two, where ye call. So Christ says, this is what we were called to do. Come on. Because Christ also suffered for us. So Christ suffered for us. He died on the Christ for us, right? Come on. Leaving us an example that ye should follow his steps. So Christ left us an example to follow his steps. First Corinthians chapter 11. Let's cut him up. First Corinthians chapter 11, right? Because if this brother is teaching you the word of God, should he have his head covered? Should he still have the Bible? If he's teaching the Bible, should his head be covered? But you know what we do? We go to the football game. We go to the white man's uh, 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 shows, right? And you know how we show honor to the white man? We take our head off for the white man. No, we do that. We take our head off for the white man. Here we go. First Corinthians chapter 11. Verse 4. Matthew 28. Listen, the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 1. Come on. No, verse 4. Verse we 4. Looking for right every man. Every man. Right this is a man right here, right? Come on. Bring or prophesy. He prophesying right now. Hold on. Don't leave yet. He praying and he prophesying with his head covered. Come on. Having his head covered. You see his head covered. You see his head covered right there? Come on. Dishonor his head. Who is he dishonoring? Christ. He's dishonoring Christ. But he said he's a teacher of the law. He said he's a Christian. He said, I know vocabulary. That's my main man. You understand? That's what he said. He said, I love. He said, I know vocabulary. He gonna save me from my sin. You understand? That's what he said. But he's dishonoring the black Messiah. He's dishonoring the black Messiah. Yes, hey, Joshua 4. All right. Who you print. got? Joshua 6. Who you got? All following the white every man. Why you following the white man? Bring. Why you following the white man? All prophesy. All prophesy. Heavy. Heavy. His, his head. His head. Covered. Covered. Dishonor. Dishonor. His head. His head. Again, the individual. Every man. Every man. Bring. Bring. All prophesy. All prophesy. Heavy. His head. Heavy. His head. Covered. Covered. Is he praying or prophesying right now? Wasn't he going through the scriptures? Revelation chapter 19 verse 10. Wasn't he going through the scriptures? He got his head covered. Why is that? Because he's not keeping God's commandments. He's a phony. You understand? He's a phony. He's not a true believer. Read what you got. The book of Revelation chapter 19 verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant. And of thy brethren. He, he claims to know Christ, right? Come on. And of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. Have the testimony of who? Of Jesus. Of Jesus or Christ. That's who he's testifying to you about, right? That's who he's testifying to them about. He got a Bible in his hand right now, right? Come on. Worship God. Worship who? Worship God. Worship the black Messiah. Right. Not the white one that taught you that you can pray with your head covered. Right. That you can prophesy with your head covered. Right. Don't worship that guy. He taught you this. The so-called white man taught you that. Don't do that. What did the Bible say? He said, if you pray and prophesy as a man, you're dishonoring your head. Vocab can't save you from that. Vocab can't save you from that. Come on. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. What's the testimony of Jesus? The spirit of prophecy. So we talking about Jesus and Christ and God's commandments and salvation and who is it for. Should that brother have his head covered, yes or no? It's easy. It's easy. Should he have his head covered when he's going through you in the Bible about Jesus? Should he have his head covered? Let's hear what a Christian has to say. You're wrong. Should he have his head covered? Yes or no? I don't know. Uh, Should he have his head? We can read it again. The Christians say, I don't know. We just read it out the Bible. These Christians don't believe the Bible, man. You don't believe the Bible. You finished, man. You got to repent. I don't want to see you finish, bro. I don't want to see that. But the things that you're saying... Me, you, you, you're on your way. Read what you got. Come on. Book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 4. Read. Every man praying or prophesying have his head covered, dishonoring his head. Who is the head of man? Who is the head of man? God. So who is the man dishonoring when he has his head on going through prophecies of Christ? 
Going through the scriptures about Christ. Going through salvation that Christ is giving. Who is he dishonoring? The man. Who is praying? Who is it? Who is he dishonoring? You tell me. Verse 3. He's still confused. Yes, sir. We're going to read the verse above it so you can get the context. Come on. First Corinthians 11 verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Who is the head of man? The head of every man is Christ. So the head of the man is Christ. Verse 4. Verse 4. Every man bring or prophesy. Going through this Bible, these prophecies that we're reading about, from Jeremiah 17 to the Holy Spirit to Revelations to Titus to Romans, everywhere we go to the Bible, right? Galatians, that's where he went, right? Romans, Galatians. Should he have his head covered going through those things? No. Read. Having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. So who is he dishonor? Who is he dishonoring right now? Hold on, hold on. Who is he dishonoring right now with his head covered? Romans nine. Who, 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 Romans who? nine. Who is he dishonoring with his Romans head covered right nine. now? Christ. If the Lord did not Christ. let us see, we would have become right. like Sodom and Gomorrah. That's who he That's is, is dishonoring Jesus the Christ. We used to scream Black Power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth